Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to install the latest NextCloud Hub version 18, but we're going to do it in a little bit different way than we've done in previous videos. If you watch my previous coverage of NextCloud, you know that I have done both a full install, manual install right on the OS, and I've done snap installs in various versions. In this episode, we're actually going to use a script, an Ansible script, that's going to do most of this work for us and just prompt us with a few questions along the way. I will put the address of the GitHub repository in the show notes and you can take a look at this for yourself. And the great thing about this is that you can actually look through the code for this Ansible script if you are so inclined to do so. So the first step is I'm going to connect to a brand new Ubuntu server 18.04.4 virtual machine, which I've already put the my SSH key on, so it doesn't prompt me for a password. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to use this curl script, but I am going to put the time command at the beginning so that we will have a benchmark for how quickly this runs when we get to the end. So we'll go ahead and run this. It'll prompt for my password. And it's going to download various things and get them installed. And this actually goes pretty quick, especially since you aren't having to type in all the commands by hand. Should be getting pretty close. It's going to install a bunch of Python stuff through pip. And obviously this, this particular Ansible script has not been updated to use Python 3 yet. So I would imagine that this is going to happen sometime in the upcoming months. All right, so we're at the end of the first step. So we spent a minute and 50 seconds, so just under two minutes going through that piece. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna do this with time again, and then I will paste in the command that's going to clone the NextCloud repository. 1.2 seconds. Next step is changing into the NextCloud directory. And this has your standard Ansible type setup. The instructions say to edit the inventory file. We're going to do nano inventory. And as we go down this file, we're going to see that it's setting the SSL certificate type to be self-assigned. It's giving the ports that need to be open. We're going to let this generate the random password for both the NextCloud admin user and the database user. Obviously, if you're using this on a production system, you will likely want to set these passwords beforehand. And certainly, if you have installed NextCloud with this script, you will want to add those passwords after you install so that you can run this for updates. All right, so effectively in this case, for the purpose of the video, we are pretty much leaving this file alone. This is just your standard inventory file for Ansible. 
so the next step we need to do is run the next cloud playbook so I'm going to say time sudo and paste in the script and let this rip All right, we're back and it took just over 15 minutes to install Nextcloud using the Ansible script. And up here at the top, it tells you where to find your Nextcloud instance. So we will copy that and we will paste it into a web browser. Go to advanced and accept risk and continue. And then our username is admin and our password is this monstrosity right here. So we'll copy that and paste this in. And we should be in a moment here taken into our brand new Nextcloud install. And then LastPass will prompt me to save my password which I will do because I will never remember that so from here you can configure this to your heart's content but there's one other thing I want to show you other secrets you'll find in the directory Etsy next cloud So if we look at database secret, it will tell us what the database password is. And if we do sudo cat nextcloud admin secret, it will give us that password as well. Now, I love the idea of setting it up this way and putting this in a place where the administrator can find it. However, best practices would dictate that you store this information somewhere else and delete it off your next cloud server. Because if somebody were to get administrative access to this, especially via SSH, they could find this information and take over your server and nobody wants that all right I'm off my soapbox now you've got your standard nextcloud install doesn't use a snap so you don't have to worry about the little bit of craziness that's involved with snap installs which, although they're getting better, there are still advantages to putting this on the machine in a manual basis or using this Ansible script. One other thing I will say about the Ansible script is that it's nice because it does have provision to get your Let's Encrypt certificate set up, which is very useful if you are running this on a virtual private server, for instance, on DigitalOcean or Vulture or AWS or Azure even, a lot of the setup and best practices are taken care of for you. In fact, this even installs fail to ban, so you're not as likely to have people able to just brute force your server if you do have it out on the public internet on a VPS of some variety. And that my viewers is going to bring us to the end of the video. If there's something specific you'd like to see me do with this next cloud install, please leave those comments down below. And if they weren't, I will make another video covering your requested features. On that note, I'd like to thank you once again for watching. 
And again, please like, subscribe, and leave comments. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.